And following the agreements reached in Geneva between Ukraine, Russia, the EU and US, uh, Kiev actually now saying the active phase of its uh, military operation in the east of the country has been suspended, although the army is not pulling back from the rest of region, uh, being mostly amassed near the city of Izium, uh, where journalist uh, Graham Phillips has now travelled for us. Now, this is a town of over 50,000, some 50 kilometres from Slavyansk, but it's in a very different situation, whereas Slavyansk is surrounded by anti-Kiev, anti-government activists and their checkpoints. To get into here, I had to pass through uh, an actual militia, which is the Ukrainian police and the Ukrainian army checkpoint. And that was some three kilometres down the road. They were asking questions, referring to these anti-Kiev, these anti-government protesters as terrorists. Um, and we do have reports of Ukrainian army having massed around this city. We've been able to speak to some people about the situation. The first military contingent began arriving at the start of this week. We've seen armored personnel carriers, helicopters and jets constantly flying above our heads. These are all said to be Ukrainian military and the National Guard with right sector members. There were also rumors today that these troops are moving towards Slavansk now. The Rada has allowed the military to shoot at people as part of the anti-terrorist operation. We're all considered terrorists if we're expressing anti-government sentiment. There are three people injured and one has been killed. They've been delivered from Slavyansk last night. Jets belonging to the Ukrainian army are constantly flying above the city and there are checkpoints set up near the entrance to the city. The soldiers are being housed in hotels and hospitals. So we have had those reports of trouble. What we also have now here in Izum are reports of the Prami sector and the National Guard being in the town. Now, of course, the Prami sector is the far-right neo-Nazi organization whose leader, Dmitry Yanosh, is also co-head of the Ukrainian National Security and the National Guard formed by many members of the Prami sector to fight against what Yanosh has referred to as the Russian invasion here in Ukraine. So we do have reports of them in the city. We have reports of clashes of conflict, and the current advice is that ISM is unsafe to enter. Now, you can always find more analysis on Ukraine at RT.com, as well as the very latest photos and videos from there and Crimea.